tragedy that will forever change three local teens. They decided to play with fire. Now one is recovering from severe burns and the other two are facing felony charges. News Channel 3 reporter Kelsey Gerkins joins us live from the Santa Barbara County District Attorney's Office. Kelsey, the DA explained these boys have the chance to clear those charges from their record. CJ and Beth, after six months of meetings, the district attorney's office came up with a pre-plea diversion agreement. Now, in this agreement, the defendants will sign it, and if they do a number of tasks, put it forth of them to help the community, they will get those charges dropped. Jacob's family can't reverse time and take their boys past, present, or future pain away, but they strongly believe they want to do all they possibly can to make sure that no other family ever has to experience what they have. Jacob Kiefer and two of his friends were hanging out in the backyard of a home in the 700 block of California Street back in February, when according to Jacob's family, he was splashed with lighter fluid that immediately set flames to the upper half of his body. I can tell you he's still in a lot of pain. I don't think words can really quantify what they've gone through and the guilt and emotions that they're feeling towards their friend who now has lifetime injuries. These juveniles are being charged with very serious felonies. The felonies the 14-year-olds are being charged with are arson of property and assault by means of force, likely to produce great bodily injury. It is agreed that these charges will be dismissed if they conclude and they are able to complete all the terms and conditions of this agreement. Those terms include volunteering 10 days at a camp for children with a disability or cancer, attending a fire education program, as well as 60 hours of community service. The boys are also banned from using social media and must write Jacob and his mother a letter, as well as attend counseling. They understand why they're being charged and they understand why they're expected to do what they're doing now. And I think there's also a greater understanding that they're going to be better members of our community overall because they've been willing to accept the ramifications of their terrible decision. The two boys have until February 29th to complete all of these terms. That will be exactly one year from when this tragedy took place. And if they don't complete all the terms by then, they will have those two felony charges against them and will go through the juvenile court system. Reporting live in Santa Barbara, Kelsey Gerkins, News Channel 3. Okay, thank you for that update, Kelsey.